Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews. I'm your host, Les Beast, and today we are looking at The Mummy, released in 1959. The Mummy stars Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, Yvette Farnell, George Pastel, Raymond Huntley, Felix Elmer, Dennis Shaw, John Stewart, Michael Ripper, and Eddie Byrne. The Mummy was directed by Terence Fisher. Now, the script for um, this Mummy film from Hammer Film Productions was written by Jimmy Sangster. And it is apparent from the moment you start watching this thing that Jimmy Sangster, when he wrote this, um, and Terrence Fisher, when he was directing it, they were not so much inspired by the Boris Karloff 1932 original Mummy film. It is very apparent that this film is more inspired by the mummies started by the mummy's hand. And nowhere is that more apparent than some of the names of the characters. The mummy himself is not Imhotep. The mummy is named Karis, which was the exact same name of the mummy in the mummy's hand and all of the sequels that followed that film. The main antagonist in this, his family, is John Banning, played by Peter Cushing. And that name, the Banning last name, was the name of the main antagonist from The Mummy's Hand. So, kind of what they did, they took a lot of the elements from all of the different movies from The Mummy's Hand to The Mummy's Curse to The Mummy's Ghost um, and all of those films and basically uh, kind of merged them together to make the best mummy film that they could make. Now, George Pastel playing um, Muhammad Bey in here. Now, it, he's playing an Egyptian and uh, he... You know, he knew how to do... He didn't have that, you know, bold British accent. So, he could really portray that uh, Egyptian voice and everything really well in there. So, he worked really well in here. Um, Felix Elmer playing um, Peter Cushing's father. Um, Stephen Banning was really good in here um, for the screen time that he has in this. Um... The beautiful um, Yvonne Fernau playing his wife, uh, Isabel, in here. She is not only gorgeous, I mean, but she's got that, um, I think she's a French actress, so she has this really cool little French, little bit of an accent in there, and, and it's just sexy. She is a very sexy uh, actress in here. And... Uh, there is not much about this film that I can say negative about it. It was a perfect representation of taking what worked with those mummy films that started with the mummy's hand and went onward with um, the Lon Chaney Jr. films. And, I mean... Christopher Lee is Karis, the mummy himself, in mummy form, is, I mean, a lot of you have heard me, you know, I'll leave a link in the description here to where, you know, I talk about the Universal Monsters mummy. And I even have a uh, ranking video where I placed uh, Karis on that, on a list of the the best, um, the top, um, Universal Monsters characters. Um, I'll leave it a link to the description on that one too. 
Um, but yeah, his his Christopher Lee's Karis, uh, as much as I hate to say it, was much more badass than even Lon Chaney Jr. And I loved Lon Chaney Jr.'s portrayal of Karis, but Christopher Lee is just so on another level on this film. And Peter Cushing is just so great as John Banning. He's so likable. He is, I mean, the way he talks, I mean, he commands presence just whenever he speaks of the Egyptian folklore and everything and starts reading the history and everything. I mean, he could keep your attention if he was just reading from a dictionary. You know. Peter Cushing was awesome. And his portrayal of John Banning was just great in this film. Really, there's no bad performances in this thing. Um, Eddie Byrne playing Inspector Mulrooney, um, who only shows up close to the end of the film and comes in to try to stop the mummy when people start dropping dead. Um, he, he was really good in his role. So... Terrence Fisher directs this thing with such good atmosphere and dread. The performances, like I've said, is you can't get any better. So I am going to rate The Mummy, 1959. I'm going to give this film a 10 out of 10. This is the perfect mummy movie. I don't think any mummy movie can be better than this one, in my opinion. It's it's really a shame that the uh, this film, all the so-called sequels to this film, um, they they never uh, they never carried over the Banning character. And the uh, um, Karis as as a mummy. They always introduced new mummies in each film and everything. And it was just, it just really, um, it was a missed opportunity, I think. Because I think they had something great in um, that. I can understand Christopher Lee not wanting to come back to this role and play a character that's uh, silent, um, violent killer and everything, because, hey, I feel the same way about, you know, my own films where, as I said in a previous video, um, um, I, I wasn't interested in returning to Kirby until uh, um, John... Us Leo wrote that character as a different character, you know, evolved that character. So I can see where Christopher Lee was coming from whenever he was like, yeah, I'm done with the mummy. I did it. I did it once and I'm done, you know, but you know, still, still sad that, uh, the, this storyline didn't continue forward in the rest of the Hammer Mummy movies, and that's why I think they suffer as films, because they don't follow the best formula, which was this film. So, what do you think? Do you agree with my rating of this? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. And, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Because it really does help this channel out a lot. And don't forget, on the 17th, we will have that first episode of Evil Deeds, Rattlesnake Ricky, free, right here on the channel. So, keep an eye out for that, and uh, then you can decide whether or not you want to continue to watch the series on either Amazon Prime or by the Blu-ray. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed this review, and uh, I will 
hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.